Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a singles read. It's been a, a minute, right, for you guys? Uh, Alright, so let's see what goes on with the singles. Know that tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity of your situation. I may be pulling a little sexy time card, so if you get offended by uh, real dirty talk or nudity, just find your way out at that point. If you'd like a personal read, you could go over to Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 uh, to purchase, or you could go over to rootsandrewards.com to see what services I have and merch. Okay, so <clears throat> what's going on with the singles? Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, roles can be flipped. All right, if I say it's you, it could be a person, vice versa. And you have to be 18 or older to watch the reads. All right, so let's see the energy right now with you guys, singles. All right, so singles, you do, you do have a relationship on your mind. You're wanting, uh, you're wanting closeness with someone. You may be wanting to start a family. All right, so definitely romance is on your mind. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for your happiness, your four of wands here. Um, you could be a little bit worried about the direction of where you're going, though. I think some of you guys are a little bit guarded, a little fearful of getting back in the dating scene. Um, if you are out there, maybe you're stressing a little bit about your person, you know, waiting anxiously, waiting for them to message you, right? That excitement. And if you don't have a person right now, I just feel that um, you're just guarding yourself and waiting on someone to come in for you. All right. All right. So relationship is on your mind. All right. Okay. I like how, how this is going. So you're showing your independence here. You're showing that you can take care of yourself. You call the shots. Uh, super caring person you are transforming into this independent person if you're not quite there yet uh, financially um, you know what you don't want right you know what you don't want guys and what you don't want is a page of panic a uh, page of wands right? or a page of pentacles because they're a little slow to the party right you guys want to get them in <laughs> okay so uh, yeah, you're not wanting a knight of wands, a page of wands. I'm sorry, I keep screwing up the cards. The page of wands. You don't want a person, you don't want to settle for a person that is going to be wishy-washy with you, that's going to just show you immaturity, um, in and out energy, or they're just wanting to stick the wand in or uh, give you the cookie or, you know, you're not, you're not digging this energy, all right? You're not wanting that impulsive person that just comes in for the ride, okay? Which, that that's fantastic. You want something um, that is created on a stable foundation, unlike the tower. Uh, you've probably had past, sorry, notification. Uh, you've probably had uh, past relationships that uh, weren't built on stable ground. And uh, these relationships crumbled for you and it bring, brought in a lot of chaos for you. So you know that you don't want another uh, drama filled connection where you feel like you got to jump from the burning building and hope that you survive the fall from it. All right. You also don't want to deal with somebody that is greedy with their time and attention or finances. You don't want a person that is holding back you don't want a person that is super guarded um, you might have dealt with a really guarded person in the past and um, you you just want somebody with open arms at this point to uh, come in and share you know share that happiness and that comfort with you all right so I like that you guys know what you want out of your relationships this new person We'll see if there's a new person in the horizon so far. I'm not seeing a new person here. I'm seeing a lot of how you guys uh, 
people that you've dealt with. You might have dealt with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo, Sag, Sag Aries. Um, an, yeah, Aries, possibly uh, Aquarius. All right, so what is this Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords. Oh, okay, there you go. There's your person. All right, so... So you might be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, this, uh, this person is a very intellectual person, right? very smart. They are, um, okay. I feel like this is, might, might be a past person. They're very um, closed off. That's what I get from this person. They're pretty closed off. Uh, they overthink things. They they get up in their head and they're unable to move because they they criticize so much or over overreact possibly. This person had you stressed out. You may be waiting for this person to come back towards you, or you're guarding yourself from this person. You don't want to deal with a cold a cold hearted king. This person was a cold-hearted king. Yeah, I don't really see this as that as a new person. Very cold and distant with you. This person might have ghosted you in the past. Uh, okay. Yeah, you don't want this read really is um, basically you guys coming to a definitive answer of what you want and what you don't want. And what you don't want is that immature person or another immature person to come in and uh, be toxic. You, you're over the toxic patterns, you're over, over the bondage, you're over the obsession or controlling behavior. Uh, of how people have shown you in the past to be. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> sorry, my allergies are, <clears throat> are acting up. Okay, so what's this Knight of, Knight of Wands in reverse? So you're showing that you're finding comfort in your own energy. You're, you're, you're basically finding peace within yourself and getting that clear intention of what you're wanting, moving ahead. Now, you might be getting some, some clarity on a Knight of Wands, a Leo Sag Aries that may be off in a distance to you. This person may be coming in with a message for you. Or pentacles, yeah. You're wanting a connection that can flourish, that you can have children with, that you can um, show vulnerability and your emotions, share emotions with a person. King of Wands. No, oh, King of Swords. I keep screwing up the cards today. to talk about the past person but you know mercury retrograde is is coming around guys so hold tight making any definite decisions with past people uh, because it looks like someone is coming back around this person that has been distant and cold with you um, that has been very much in their head is coming back in to try to invest in you. They see you as a good investment with the Ten of Pentacles. All right. They're looking to come back in in a sexual way. They're looking to embrace you. All right. This person can be uh, a little obsessed with you or possessive with you. Uh, so, you know, 
use your dis discernment with this person that showed uh, immaturity in the past. It looks like they're trying to reverse some of their behavior. Wanting to come back in and get all nice and frisky with you. not wanting to end a cycle with you they're not wanting you to walk away from them they're not wanting an ending to the relationship but you have a clear understanding of what you're wanting right now now you have a clear understanding of what you're wanting and you're not uh, you're finding your peace of mind and you're allowing this connection to just go to go away go away you could um this person can have their tower moments and their drama and their immaturity and their lack of love or concern somewhere else uh, because you just want peace and this person hasn't hasn't brought you any type of peace of mind so you're going to be saying uh, a lot of you may be saying no to this person coming back some of you may may uh give them a shot all right see so the six of cups six of cups all right so the empress card is here in reverse though so i think the past uh this past relationship that you guys were in whether it be recently or or far off in the past gotcha all up in your head got you disconnected with who the fuck you are all right um this person had you second guessing your uh your godly godliness <laughs> if that's a word your goddess abilities your god abilities um this person stopped you at one point from manifesting what you want in your life They are coming back and they're not indecisive anymore they're not uh they're not trying to play with your emotions anymore here or juggle you in some way if there was another person or just juggle you with maybe not being able to be committal all right lovers 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 all right yeah wanting to come back in and celebrate with you and have a good time and um, looking at you as wish fulfillment for them at this point. Right. So, well, okay. Well, there's a Knight of Pentacles here, Taurus Virgo Cap, that is also coming in for you, and this is a new person. And they seem very, uh, very kind and a cutie, right? They got real cute cuteness about them and a little bit of a soft romantic side all right I like that all right so yeah a lot of you are walking away mm, okay all right see so you are walking away this person this person's going to stop some of you guys and you're going to you're going to emotionally invest again they're wanting you to stop walking away and turn back towards them to emotionally fulfill them again after this this ending that occurred so they don't want you to pour out emotions. They don't want you walking away from them. Hmm. Okay. Well, you have another option coming in. You got options. You got options. You got celebrations. You got good times. You got socializing. Get yourself back out there. Uh, you're putting an end to conflict and competition. You're not one to be in competition. You're a motherfucking empress. We don't compete for nobody. We know our value. We know our worth. If you want me, come and get me. 
right? <laughs> An empress doesn't compete. There's nobody to compete with. Peasants? Empress doesn't compete with peasants. You're not putting yourself in a situation that you're dealing with peasants. Okay. Good. I'm leaving you upright because that's the Empress energy right there. You were upside down in the past from this past person or relationship or job or whatever it was. But you're not, you're not anymore. We're going to put you upright. Just the fact that you're you're choosing your happiness over anybody else at this point is really great. It's very good. So celebrations, happiness could be uh, having a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer coming in for you. Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person is no longer at a crossroads. They know what they want with you. And what they want with you is to fuck really good and pour into you emotionally and lift you up and elevate with you. This person may be uh, really addicted to your sex or your scent or your energy. Right. So this Knight of Pentacles, let's see about this new person. Knight of Pentacles. All right, it's Taurus Virgo Cat. So grounded person, person that is financially secure. You may have a Leo coming in. This person is gonna bring some sunshine into your life, some happiness, yeah? This person is very valuable also. They are very valuable. They have a lot to give here. Okay, that's good. They show value. So whether it be financially, they're financially secure, which I do feel that they are financially secure, but they're also valuable with emotions and mental state. So healthy. This person's healthy. This person is a healed, healed person that's coming in. Unlike your past person that's not healed or elevated. They're trying. I don't know if they're trying to, I don't know if this person has healed the past person. I can't really tell you that right now. All I could tell you with this past person is they're looking to come back in and have celebrations and have sex and uh, reverse you walking away. Yeah. That's what I could tell you about this person. They want closeness with you again. I don't know about love or emotions, but they're wanting you in their energy field again. So the Eight of Cups, this person, does this person love the viewer? Let's see. Yeah, all right. So they are looking to put the work in. They are looking to put the work into you and prove to you, prove to you that you don't need to walk away from them. You don't have to put it an ending to this relationship. I think you opened their eyes. I think you opened your eye, their eyes when you walked. Now they see, you know, they have to invest something in order for you to stay around. Very nice. Okay. Well, putting in the work is good. But yeah, your Wheel of Fortune, guys. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So all around, finances are looking better. You may be getting a new job or getting involved in new creative endeavors. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Going in your favor, the wheel of fortune. So what you've been wanting, you're going to get. Whatever that may be, you're going to get your wish fulfillment here. Person. Yeah, this person is tired of watching you. They want to act. They don't want to sit anymore on their ass. They're wanting to act because they're seeing that they can turn the wheel of fortune in their favor with you. Shit, what did you do to this person? Oh, you emotionally fulfilled them? 
could that be your love is not like no other love all right you had unconditional love for this person you gave and you gave all your emotions to them and now they're missing all that love that you were pouring into them and they're seeing your beauty they're seeing you rise to the occasion you guys are glowing up self-sufficient secure respected shit guys you're gonna be a little bit indecisive about this person when they come in all right you're gonna be a little indecisive the fact that this person really fucking hurt you they really hurt you they backstabbed you they rejected you they didn't give even give and take they had you laying on the ground and they weren't there pulling any swords out of your back so you kind of have to remember what what this person did to you and how they made you feel is it worth allowing this person back into your life after they've done this to you i think they're gonna have to work damn hard uh to prove their words and their actions uh to you at this point because you're not forgetting it you might have forgiven this person for hurting you but i think a lot of you are not wanting to go through the same cycle again to get hurt again i think you've learned you've learned that when you're needing to cut shit off it needs to be cut off all right so let's see let's go into sexy time about this knight of pentacles so you got a knight and a king of swords here so the king of swords is looking like a past person to me Oh, you also got a king of pentacles in reverse though yeah. king of pentacles in reverse they have three people coming in now i feel like this is the same energy this king and king of swords and king of pentacles is the same energy this person was sleeping on your ass they were sleeping they were sleeping on you in the past now i keep seeing spirit <clears throat> I don't know what they want to say. We'll see. Yeah. This they were sleeping on you and watching you all the time, but now they're they're tired of sleeping on you and they want to come towards you. Let's see sexy time so sexy time So this past person was blocking the connection uh, with you guys. They were aware of the passion and the, the attraction that they had for you, but this person has a hard time uh, opening up and showing vulnerability and um, accepting the love and care that you were trying to give to them. But it does look like they they want that that good loving to come back that comfort you make this person really in a way it's like a love hate type of thing because you 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 touch that that spot in that heart that soft spot uh for them and they they fear they fear that uh, intimacy possibly yeah they're sneaking back up on you they're sneaking back up on you you probably think this is long lost like the relationship is gone this is not even on your mind anymore or it's clearing away right it's clearing away and you're not expecting this person uh, to come toward you ever again uh, but they are and at that point it's gonna throw you for the loop it's gonna make you indecisive might 
throw a little bit of confusion in the mix. I think you guys have to sage. I see the smoke here. Right. So people, somebody might smoke either pot or cigarettes, or you're needing to cleanse your uh, your workspace or your your house. So, Knight of Pentacles. Woo! -wee. Knight of Pentacles. So, this Knight of Pentacles, I feel, is around you guys right now. This might be a friend of yours that has an offer for you, but they're fearful of uh, whether or not you're going to take it. So they're playing a little bit of a shy guy or girl. They're afraid of coming towards you uh, in a romantic way because they fear that you'll cut them off uh, altogether. All right. If you don't like them, you're gonna cut them off. That's, that's a fear of theirs. That's a fear. So I feel like this past person, this this king of king of swords or this king of pentacles right here, they're gonna tug at your heartstrings. They're gonna come in charming and sweet with you, and they're gonna say, "Feel my heart, and you know, feel my chest. I do, you know, I do want you near me." And you're just looking away, like, "How do I trust this? How do I trust this now?" as much shit as you, you've shown me, how do I trust that, how can I trust you around me after how you did me? So they're not wanting you to walk. They're not wanting you to pour out the emotions. They're wanting you to pour back into them. And mm, it seems like a little bit of a, If this person's a sweet talker, but I'm feeling genuine from them. I am feeling genuine energy from this person. <laughs> I'm kind of not wanting to feel the genuine feeling from it, but some of you people may be genuine when they come back. All right, they may, they may. Right. Listen to your intuition. Very good looking person, nice body. It may have long hair. They're frustrated. This person's frustrated with their emotions. They've, they've tried to write a letter to you. They've tried to write a message, text message to you or Instagram. And they, they write it and they delete it or they write it and they crumble it up. They fear that you're you're with someone else. You know, that might hold this person back if you're dancing with someone else. If you're committed to someone else, this person gets frustrated with the fact that they can't they can't they can't come forward with their emotions, but they're overflowing with emotions kind of bad for this person like speak the fuck up so you got it so you get out of this frustration this frustrating state of mind just speak up what's the worst case scenario your person goes i don't want you that's the worst case scenario best case scenario you share a nice nice intimate connection with one another Afraid of being hurt, afraid of being committed. Yeah. A little childlike, this person. They're frustrated. Yeah, definitely frustrated. Mm -hmm. They don't want nobody else to fiddle with your kitty either. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Or your wand. They don't want nobody else to have you. Boy. 
They're not happy if you're with someone else. They're not happy about it. Eight of Swords. So they feel that they're burdened, and I think they really burden you. I think you were holding on to this connection heavily. You were putting more work in than this person. You probably would get them off and make them feel nice. And then they would just uh, leave your nipples hot and your poon on wet. Couldn't follow through. Or didn't choose to follow through. They're greedy and selfish. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, somebody wasn't being pleasured the right way in. Shit. Some blue lips or blue balls over here. <laughs> yeah, you're walking forward. You're walking forward into new things. You're taking a leap of faith towards new things. Uh, new direction. You're just focused on yourself at this point. You're not really concerned about this person because you feel like it's over and done with in your mind. Uh, you're slowly releasing them and they're feeling that they need to take a leap of faith towards you now. They're coming, they're walking, they're walking their way to you. Regardless if there's other people in the background, I've never seen other people on this card, but look, they're not caring if you're with someone else, they're coming for you coming for you four wands wanting to bring in happiness could be a twin flame connection with this person wanting that happiness wanting that partnership wanting you to ride ride them dirty and get on that swing and back it up into them while they grab your titties while they grab your hips Ooh, okay. this person likes grabbing you and ramming you into them want to do it doggy style yeah. Just four of cups reminiscing about you thinking about the memories that you guys share the intimate moments that you shared with one another huh, they feel it's magnetic it's magnetic between the two they're at a crossroads but I think um they're making a choice here. They're wanting you to play footsie under the table with them and stroke their package a little bit, caress them in public places. Person might own a gun or a bow and arrow. You might like to wear a lot of like dresses or crop tops. I think you guys have a, have some style to you. You might be married. Your person may be married. Not for all, but some. Four of Pentacles. Not wanting to guard themselves anymore. Not wanting laying down the protective coat that they once had. They might like want you or like when you wear corsets. They like maybe undoing your corset with their mouth. Love to slide your panties over and get munching on you. Okay, woof, 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 woof. It's getting steamy in here. Sure. Hmm. They just want you to sit there and have pleasure you. Make up. They want to make up. They want to make it up to you. And they know how to do it. They know what you want. You might even kiss your pussy above the panties or some shit. Okay. Okay. Got a little tequila in me. Cheers, guys. Hmm. So, you or your person may like the same sex. You might be bisexual, or you like to bring other people into the bedroom with you. Right? Um, yeah, you wanting you you want a committed relationship, but you wouldn't mind having um, other people pleasure you, or you have or them.
challenge with them that might be like something that you both like having like two females or two males with you guys whatever it is um but it looks like uh there is going to be some type of commitment with one another like an understanding between the two of you guys yeah this person you might not mind like someone else like sucking off your person that might be something like that really gets you wet or really hard uh, that's what i see that's what i see like the more the merrier that's not for all of you guys probably not but uh, for a small percentage of you guys you, know, you think about it this could also be a fantasy too it doesn't have to be a reality but fantasizing with your partner sure so person is coming in because they're overwhelmed with emotions for you after being deceptive after holding back their emotions because they might be in another connection or you may be or both of you may be in a connection that you're walking away from to come back to one another and share uh, good times with one another I don't want to know about this new guy but this is pretty hot. <laughs> Let's keep going. Four of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. All right. So they're looking at you as you're a damn prize to them. They want to eat you up from head to toe. They want to eat like shit off your body. Mm. They, they admire you. They see you as a real good investment. Shit, look at those titties. Look at that back. Both of you got good bodies. This is some hot shit here. Right. This could be a new person. It could be this new person. It could be. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is what it, this Ace of Cups. So this is exploring new new op opportunities and new emotional outlets and finding emotional fulfillment with your partner and getting getting in the sheets and getting that closeness with one another. Yeah, definitely pick, picking a path. Someone's picking a path for their emotional needs, for their emotional fulfillment. All right, four pentacles. So no more greed. That was in reverse. So. <laughs> they're like shit i can't hold back anymore i can't be greedy anymore i want to express i want to tell them how i feel i don't want anybody else petting their cookie petting their pussy and i just want to go up and grab a hold of them They're wanting to come out of isolation or wanting you to come out of isolation. They don't want to sit still. They don't want to wait for you anymore. They don't want to have they don't have much more patience. They don't have patience. Ten of Swords. Magician. Ten of Swords. So you still have you still have some type of um, uh, hurt here with this person. You know, you're still holding on to a little bit of resent and hurt. Uh, still up in your mind about them, thinking about them over and over again. And uh, a little bit of confusion still. But you're manifesting what you want. You're manifesting your pentacles, your love, your passion, emotional fulfillment, mental mental stability. Oh. Okay. It's ten of pentacles. Justice. Justice is coming in for you. Scales are being balanced scales are being balanced whether this is a new person or an old person you are making out with the six of cups you are making out with a flourishing connection 
regardless if it's old or new all right this is some good feeling energy coming in this is not old energy so your person can be shifting this relationship can be shifting from a negative to a positive with the work of both of you guys so you have you were mirroring each other at one point uh dirty laundry dirty laundry somebody be, might be airing out your dirty laundry about your relationship here or somebody has dirty laundry or they launder they launder money money laundering oh Be careful with that. Somebody got some dirty laundry that they're airing out here. Look at those fucking socks in the background. Never noticed those guys before, but that's what I'm getting. Justice. You might be dealing with a Libra, Cancer, Aries, Sag, Leo, Pisces. Okay. So they're coming out of hermit mode. They're coming out of isolation. Well, you're coming out. And you are showing passion for one another here. They're going to be sucking on your bosom. You may have really long hair. Very long hair. Your person may be a dirty blonde. May be very uh, blue collar. This could be a very uh, blue collar person, business oriented person. What else do we see about this person? They may have a knife collection or like a vase collection of some sort. Um, they may have a unique way of dressing. They may be unique in some ways. They're not, they're, well, some of you have, some of you guys have a blue collar person. Other, other of you guys have this like artistic, artsy type of person that uh, goes against the grain, that wears, um, you know, gems, crystals, and necklaces, and um, like a flowy, flowy attire. Definitely see a lot of corsets here. That might be your type of lingerie, or you, you dig it. You dig it. You might also show your, your bosom a lot. They feel that that's sexy. They also like your back. Something with your back. They find that very attractive. Also your legs. Seeing a lot of legs. They might have a man purse. Yeah, yeah, that's for some of you guys. Man purse. Is that what it's called? Man purse? I don't know. Mail carrier? It might be a mail carrier, mailman. Or uh, you know, some kind of delivery person. Deliver stuff. Might have a lot of plants in your house. Or they do. So this Knight of Pentacles, we gotta go back to him. Oh, all right, this could be this Knight of Pentacles, but I think this is a, a friend standing on the sidelines, uh, waiting, waiting to charge, but fearful that you're not gonna. Maybe they feel that you're you're wrapped up with this person, so you're not really ready for a new connection. King of Wands. Yeah, they may be worried about if that you're sharing time with someone else. Uh, they may not come in right away. This this new person. Yeah, they're not feeling strong enough to come towards you. I think you just still got to wrap it up with this past person here. But you have other opportunities. You have other options coming in. You definitely have other options, and you're healing. 
healing from this past relationship, regardless if they come in or not. You're healing from it. You're the freaking star. You're looking gorgeous. People are looking up to you. Becoming enlightened to uh, your path and where to pour your emotions to. You're looking damn good at doing it. Somebody they might like to get come on them. They might like you jerking off on them or I don't know. <laughs> might like them doing this to you. Right. Wow, really? A little raunch today. A little raunch. <laughs> Alright, so if the read is resonating with you guys, feel free to donate to my channel. I do um, have healing intention candles for a five dollar donation all donations do go back into the channel for more cards candles crystals uh, they are cleared out uh, with my um, Palo Santo and Rose Moon water and um, positive intention is sent back to you guys if you'd like all seven chakras that is 25 okay so this is my love me love me not oracle deck divine masculine divine feminine yin and yang and uh this is messages from your person if you'd like to purchase the cards you could go to rootsandrewards.com they're 40 with shipping uh all right it's limited right now though i have more coming so that's going to be a little while Ooh, all right so you have a soulmate coming in you do have a soulmate oh wow Wow, that's a that's never come out like that. You got two people. Somebody got two people. <laughs> you got a soulmate on one end trying to get at that ass, trying to tap that ass. And then you got your twin flame trying to tap that ass too. Alright, so you're torn between two. And if you're not torn between two right now. You're probably going to be leaving your twin flame for your soulmate connection because it's just easier, right? Could be. Or vice versa. All right, well, your person. You got, you got two people here. Yeah, two people. I miss your touch. All right. So, like I said, two people. Knight of, Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Whoever is at a distance from you, let's say it's your twin flame, is at your distance because that friend or that, that close other person, they're near you. They're near you. This twin flame is not near you. This twin flame is hermit right now. And they do miss your touch. Huh, that's interesting. I love you. All right, your twin loves you. I love you. All right, so this person, that's what they've been holding back from you, that they love you. Your soulmate is seeing signs of you everywhere. All right. So if you haven't met this soulmate yet, they're, they're getting a feeling that they're going to find you. Like they're already feeling loved up before even even getting your energy because divine is, is guiding them and telling them you're going to find love soon. Wow. Okay. If you do know this person, if you do know your soulmate, I think um, they fear that you you are going to break their heart or you did break their heart by dealing with your twin flame here. Wow. You're a star. Yeah. Both of these people, your soulmate and your twin flame, both see you as the star, as someone super special that is um, possibly gifted right, or talented, and and you're rising, you're rising to the occasion here. I guess you have two admirers. some oh my goodness i just dumped my whole bag of initials but some initials came out let's do the ones that were in the bag all right so you might have been dealing with this person for six years 
the, this is just to give you a little bit more clarity to see if this uh, read is yours. Right. So, initials are L, N, K. This could be your person's first and last name or your first and last name. R, R, T, C, A, G. You may have a cat or a rat. You might have a rat as a pet or your person has a rat as a pet. This, this light is way bright. Hold up. Let's get to my sinuses. Okay. That went all romantic. We're getting intimate now. Alright, so you might have a go-kart. You might like go-karting. You might like Lady Gaga. You might be from California. Nicholas, Nicholas, Landon, Robert, Timothy, Alan, AC, your AC might need to be fixed, Georgia, street may have a lane in it like the word lane like Dixie Lane or something like that RK RK Somebody might have jet lag. Okay. <laughs> Someone may gag or have like really bad gag reflux. Okay. Right. I... <laughs> Name could be cat, K A T. That's it. L N R might be Long Long Island, Long Island Railroad. You may take you may take a, a train a lot to work, or your person does. R T A. Hmm. All right, that's what I got. Well, there's a few more here. A few more on the desk. Let's see what they are. J U G Jug. Alright. You may connect with the jug or jugs. Maybe you have a lot of jugs in your home or this person has jugs. Ooh, jugs. <laughs> big jugs. Okay, big titties. Big titties. You might be dealing with this person for the last three years. H. That's what I got. Let's see. Let's see affirmation cards. Oh wow. I'm a lovable person. Yes, you are a lovable person and you deserve to be loved the right way. Yes, say that every day. I am a lovable person. I am deserving of a loving connection. I am love, right? I am surrounded by love and support. Yes. 
this. Make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that do uh, have love for you and have, have uh, concern and care for you and that do support you. If they don't support you, they gotta go. saying I was unsure about if this person was actually healing um, they are they are healing they are transforming and so are you and this relationship is transforming for you guys uh, your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so there is a connection coming in regardless if it's old or new it is uh, transforming and it is something um, healthier than what you were used to self-care what you could do to hire your frequency and get yourself feeling better all right so you may have to release some past shit and write it down about this person or the situation and burn it burn it in a bowl and release it the day that you burn it maybe you're needing to sing maybe you're needing to join uh, a singing group or chorus uh, or just sing in your sing in your home make TikToks with singing. I was just telling somebody, this. I was telling Brittany this. So definitely free your spirit, free your spirit. Singing is a really good way to release energy. That built up energy that you guys have going on. You're flowing though, It's it, you're making a turnaround. Definitely a turnaround in your own energy and in your love affairs and your finances. Ooh, movement, yeah, you're coming out of stagnancy. You're no longer being trapped and bound to your situation. You're moving. Get to moving. Get to exercise and taking a walk. Yoga, Pilates, whatever you have to do. And that is that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the read. I do appreciate all the kind words, uh, your bookings, your donations, the gifts. I love, love it all. And I do really appreciate you guys and helping me to build my channel. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like uh, to purchase a shirt. They are 30 with shipping. I have a few of, uh, I have one black and a few greens. Uh, just go over rootsandrewards.com and message me. Request uh, either the read, the cards, the candles, uh, or the shirts over there. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, guys. So I wish you well, and uh, remember, do something good for yourself. Keep yourself in high regard.